So this is a 60 volt test of the motor controller. It's now at about now it can handle about 40 or 50 amps, but it's set on a 10 amp current limit right now. And I've just added a second MOSFET, and we're going to watch both MOSFETs at the same time. There's two channels active on the oscilloscopes, and the goal was to verify that the two MOSFETs are really in perfect sync with each other, so that one shuts off at the same time the other one shuts off, and the other one is on at the same time the other one's on. So, here's the process for turning it on. Got my little protective gloves on. And... <laughs> okay, so you turn the controller on. Pre-charge resistor. Let me make sure, what is this setting? Yeah, ten times, oops. Ten times, that's good. I'm making them by real electrical glove tomorrow. Yeah, I think that's hooked up. So we'll watch both MOSFETs at the same time. Do pre-charge resistor first. Okay, there's the pre-charge resistor. See, they're, they're charging. And it's probably charged now. Start the motor up a little bit. There we go. So this is 60 volts. They're they're both just perfectly in sync. Notice that one goes down, the other one goes down, the other one goes up, the other one goes up. We're monitoring from drain to source right now. So this is basically we're looking at motor minus, motor negative. And if I were to crank this sucker all the way up, the wheel would probably shake apart because it would be, it's a lot of voltage to be running through it while it's just, but we could slow it down and watch the current limiting in action. See, it becomes more gentle and it's pulling gently on it because the throttle is gentle. And and it's making that weird noise now because I think that this motor doesn't like being held for extended periods of time while, uh, while the power is going through it. So I hope I haven't messed the brushes up or anything with their previous experiments. Anyway, so this is an improvement over the last time because now, while you're holding it, see it's gentle torque because gentle throttle, but if you turn the throttle up, there's uh, more torque, but it's still very gentle, and it limits itself. It limits itself to this is just a fraction of the full throttle. Ooh, you see that? Let's see. Look at this. That's what motor minus looks like. If you ever wondered, it has that weird little squiggle there? Get it cranked up a bit. Shut it down and whoops. See that little squiggly line? Isn't that weird? That's what motor minus is doing. I still don't really understand why it damps off like that. So 60 volts works good. So this is right now it's running 60 volts, 10 amps, so that's 600 watts. So a little under a horsepower. Slow it down. Gentle torque because it's gentle throttle. I hope I'm not ruining my poor little motor. Sorry, motor. And that's it. There we go. We could run it up to maybe 84 volts if we wanted to live dangerously, or maybe even 96. But I don't want to burn up the motor also, because it's a 36 volt motor. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good idea. 
Okay. That's it. Oh, so shutting the things down. Mm -hmm. uh, I shut off the power from the batteries. Then I shut off the 12 volts power to the controller, to the, the weenie power section of the controller. And then everything's off. And then we should probably unplug it so there's not 60 volts sitting around just ready for a little kid to go grab it. Oh, uh, yeah. So we have a lot of children in this house. Yeah. Then we'll shut this thing off. And these are the two new oscilloscope probes from China. And this is the old one. I just decided to use the two new ones together. Just, I don't know why. Okay, the end. They traveled across Ettensmoor for many days. Then about the tenth day, they came to the northern edge of the moor and looked down a long, steep slope into a different and grimmer land. At the bottom of the slope were cliffs. Beyond these, a country of high mountains, dark precipices, stony valleys, ravines so deep and narrow that one couldn't see far into them, and rivers that poured out of echoing gorges to plunge sullenly into black depths. <laughs> <laughs> 